Gentlemen of West Newton, Pennsylvania, Renegade Wrestling Alliance. This is the Wrestling Mayhem Show Live. We're doing something new here. Uh, I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, we are of the Wrestling Mayhem Show podcast, and I got my special co host here because I'm taking over his area tonight. Church. How dare you take over my area? These people Church. don't want you taking over my area. I'm, 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 I'm usually adjacent to you looking over your shoulder, but, uh, but uh, you know, trying a little different here. How you doing, Church? I'm doing all right. A little cold. And, and, and where can people find you online for the people that maybe don't watch the wrap-up on RWA's YouTube or uh, check this out later online? Well, first, you see, got some Church, fans for, out Church there. for President 2020. Thank you. There you go. There you go. First off, uh, if you don't watch... Yeah, see, there you go. As, as long as you, as long as you uh, uh, don't watch the wrap-up show, which the first problem is, why don't you? Um, the second thing that you can do is find me on the Twitters, on the MySpace. No, MySpace doesn't exist anymore. Are, does you, it? are you still on MySpace? It's we still have MySpace. It's possible. Who, who out there has got a MySpace? <laughs> RWA had a MySpace. Did RWA have a MySpace? Do we still have a MySpace here? Uh, no, are you updating the MySpace? Is that the problem? We need to work on your social media wheels. Last time I heard Aaron updated his MySpace, it involved pictures of sheep. Oh. But anyways, we're here at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance at West Newton, Pennsylvania. Uh, anybody out on the internet listening to this, uh, you probably don't know where West Newton is. I'm actually not sure where I'm at half the time I get out here. It's, it's a little place to find. That's it's the sure. only place I go to where I lose cell reception on the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but a great place here. Uh, we've been doing this for a long, a well, long, long time here. Jeez, how long? How long? What, what anniversary are we coming up here for Renegade Wrestling Alliance? We sh- if, see, that's a good question because seven, I, I want to say seven. seven uh, Aaron, Aaron, seven years in January? I'd say so. You'd say so. He's been we'll here see. since the beginning and he doesn't even know. Round about seven years, almost as long as we've been doing Wrestling Mayhem show. And a really, really cool uh, thing that's been happening here. I've been here uh, shooting video for. Geez, 2011, 2010, something like that. Something like that. After the first couple of years, we had a we had a blind guy doing video for a while. Um, <laughs> so you're definitely an upgrade because you're not blind. So that's good. That's good to see. That's yep. good to see. Uh, definitely course, an upgrade from the blind guy. Of course, of the uh, Digital Horizons regime and everything like that. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, no, this was even before Digital Horizons and all that, but yeah, no, like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, original back in, way back at the beginning. Way back in the yeah, day. Yeah, way back at the beginning, Blind Guy and, and Clanks and Real Rope and all kinds of bad. But we've evolved. <laughs> we've become better. We are like the $6 million man. We had the technology, we did rebuild, and this is where we're at today. And it's been really interesting over the years seeing the evolution of the RWA. I mean, just looking as I'm handed the uh, the match listing for tonight, I mean, guys like Sanjay Dutt popping up all the time. Oh, God. that's a, to, to see people like that, to see talent like that here in RWA from, you know, worldwide known talent like Sanjay Dutt. We've had Matt Hardy here. We've had Honky Tonk Man here. I mean... Just the, the names that we have had here, to see those people come here into RWA to be a part of our little family is truly amazing. And, you know, my hat's off to uh, Derek Stinky Feel Bad uh, for putting on, you know, the show, for being able to bring in talent like Sanjay, like Amazing Red, like all of those guys. It's truly amazing. Now, um, you actually have, uh, we talked about this, of course, having you on our Indie Mayhem show. Uh, you have been here pretty much since the beginning. Yeah. I think you you had up until a certain point the, the only perfect attendance, except for probably the promoter here. Yes. Um, other than, you know, the ancillary crew and Feel Bad himself, I was the only one to have had perfect attendance for RWA for five years straight. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Not missed a single show. Had to take some time off, um, you know, personal reasons and whatnot, but came back last October full-time and all of these people and I've yet to figure it out why they've cheered me but they still cheer me to this day I'm trying to figure out they're not all they're not all watching the DVDs to hear your commentary last I knew probably not <laughs> so why uh, aren't you people buying the DVDs <laughs> you hear this guy 
There you go. Uh, maybe it's your, your performance during the uh, Halloween costume contest every year. <laughs> I have fun with that. Those are always fantastic. I have fun with that. I, I think the people enjoy that, too. I do make fun of a few of them, um, some more so than others. It is mm. what it is. It's easier, I guess you could say. Um, but no, it, it's, it's fun to be able to get in the ring in front of you know everybody that comes here and do my little shtick, uh, do my little thing, and hear the applause from it. Can I get a round of applause? Anyway. Or can I get booed? There we go. There you go. Thank you. Doesn't matter what reaction, as long as you get a reaction, right? right? <laughs> awesome. Um, I, I've always, um, for those that don't listen to the podcast, I am consistently putting over this crowd. Because this, this crowd is the most insane crowd that I'm typically around in pro wrestling. <laughs> I mean that with like all positivity, too. No, I mean, some of these people should be putting straight jackets. <laughs> no, it, it's true. Yeah, so oh, he even put his we hand up. In the front he row. admits it. He admits it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It, it's good that you admit that you have issues. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't have came back. There you Somebody go. said that they, 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 they knew that I, I love them. And, and I do. I, I do love all of the West Newton fans, a.k.a. West Newton River Dirt. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 fun to be here. It really is. So, so like I said, you've been here for a while. What's the kind of craziest thing that you've seen in your uh, seven-ish, whatever that number is, uh, around the RWA? The craziest thing I've seen in RWA, dear God. Um, uh, any, honestly, anything involving G Raver. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just had a shout from G Raver when he jumped off of that basketball hoop up there. See, I missed that show. I will oh, admit geez. I missed that show. But anything involving G, I've seen him do some things that I'm just like, he's dead. There, uh, there was one time I, 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 I do remember he was standing on the top rope, and I believe he either got shoved or thrown from the top rope to the floor and just smacked off the floor and it made the most god awful sound in the world and he was able to get up and move. Th th those, are, <laughs> those are some of those where uh, I I've watched some of those and we used to of course live switch and I'd be set up on the floor and I'd feel him hit the floor. Yes. Like like from all the way back here and yeah. just one and, and watch it on a monitor and I'm just like no way is he okay. Yeah. No, you you would hear the smack of him hitting the floor, you'd hear the body smack and it's like, dear God, he's dead. This time, this time he killed himself. G. Raver finally did it. He killed himself this time. And then he stands up, and I'm like, nope, he's still alive. Awesome. Because I don't want to see anything bad happen to no, the, the no. dude. He's a great performer. I love having him here. He is the craziest person that we have here in RWA, though. G. Raver, enemy to ladders everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the ladder matches that he used to have back in the day. Woo. Those were some violent times, mm -hmm. but some great times. Like buy the buy some of the DVDs and and watch some of the older stuff of G Raver like breaking his body on ladders. It's it's oh my god! I, I I've, I've lost all train of thought because the sign fell off, yeah. and like other things have happened. But still, like that's all right. That's it, all right. It's, it's just duct tape. It's, it's a live show. Tape. What do you expect? It's a live show. Duct tape doesn't always stand, uh, stand up wrestling. for a live show. Yeah. Indie wrestling, yeah. wrestling podcasting, and uh, indie wrestling is kind of like kind of similar in some ways. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you're surprised what's not going to work. Sometimes it's a broken rope. Huh? Um, which I feel like I've been seeing more lately. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all Daniel Eads' fault. Daniel Eads. Daniel Eads is the man of tomorrow. He continuously breaks things. It's he's just me. overpowering whatever he does. So like he comes in with an overpowering entrance and breaks the sound system. He comes in, steps on the ring ropes and breaks them. And he steps on the, the steps and breaks. Oh no, Mofo broke the steps. That's right. But, like he's 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 literally broken one of everything since he's started here in RWA, which is totally fine, including the uh, the undefeated streak. He is still undefeated in RWA. Right. Uh, can, uh, uh, crowd, live crowd, can I get a cheer for the man of tomorrow, Daniel Eads? No. The Daniel Eads fans have not come in yet. Apparently, yeah, apparently not. They're still I apologize, in the Daniel. Cold. They will. They will. They will cheer for you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, like I said, a lot of a lot of people over the years. Um, uh, Matt Hardy was a part of this yep. for for a show a couple of years ago. 
Yep. Um, guys like Corey Graves was here. Yep. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know that. Yeah, Corey Graves was here. Corey Graves was here for quite a while. Um, the Sterling one himself, uh, yeah. SJK, he was here. He and Ryan Mitchell tore this house down more times than I could even count. Um, they had, uh, to my knowledge, if I, if I am incorrect in this, somebody can correct me, but they had the only Iron Man match in RWA history. Really? Yes. I think that's before my time. Yeah, they had, it was a 30 minute Iron Man match between Sterling James Keenan and Ryan Mitchell. And it was a knockdown, drag out, uh, balls to the wall fight, and a tremendous showing by both people. That sounds like we need to dig that up in the archives here and get it online. Yeah. So. Yeah, look for it. <laughs> well, Somebody, you're, you're the one that's in charge of all the video. I, know, I don't think do you I, not know about this. Is that before I showed up? Because I don't have that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but no. It might have been in the Digital Horizons age. So, so as somebody that's doing commentary here with RWA, seeing a guy like that uh, uh, transition to where he's at on freaking Monday Night Raw. Yeah. I mean, how does that feel knowing like he came, he was here, you know, like he's one of your guys. He was here. It feels awesome to see people that you know succeeding at their dream. Um, you know, I, I'll be perfectly honest, I don't think Keenan's ultimate dream was to be in commentary. I think it was to be performing on the main stage, you know, at WrestleManias and things like that. Unfortunately, no one can predict uh, health problems. Hank's here. <laughs> Hank's here. Hey. <laughs> Nobody can predict health problems, you know, and, yeah. and first and foremost, everybody's got to take care of themselves. So, you know, Keenan having to uh, retire from in-ring competition, switching over to commentary, was something that was probably a little rough for him. But in the end, it's awesome to see him doing that. I would like to think that he took some of his uh, semi-heel tendencies from me. I highly doubt it, but I would like to think so. He watched the DVDs here. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I would like to think so at least, but who knows? <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we got a lot coming up here. RWA open season tonight. Uh, the Alliance is in the house. These new guys, some new faces. Some I'm very familiar with. Um, um, I think just about everybody in the Alliance has been a part of the Wrestling Mayhem show at some point over the years. I'm sure. You, you have you've pimped out the Wrestling Mayhem show a lot to a lot of people. That's right. And you've gotten a lot of people in studio and online and everything else. I mean, you even got me online once. So this is my second appearance on the show. Well, if you make three appearances, you become a co-host officially. So really, wow. yes, yeah, it's a, that's the rule. Um, um, who do we have? For, uh, a couple other wrestlers have popped up and said, "Oh no, yeah, yeah, you're, you're part of the show now." Um, but uh, but I mean, it, it's an interesting collection of, of, of new people with it. Uh, Marshall Gambino, who uh, will just—he's just in the ring or not, he's ready to punch anybody in the face. Uh, I've seen it. Yeah, uh, I've seen it yeah he's always ready for a fight. He uh, came in looking to punch somebody. Oh, I was yeah. standing outside earlier. Oh, yeah. He, 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 he's just ready to go. And he's another guy. I mean, uh, we talked about Super Hentai has been uh, uh, trained in, in Japan. He's another guy that's done some time in Japan. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, you look at, you know, you look at some of the people. Um, I mean, let's, I, you know, I'm sure a lot of people out there, you know, that are watching this have seen Ring of Honor, um, you know, who know of the notorious Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor was here for the you know quite a while. Um, he has made a name for himself in Ring of Honor right now, and you know just another talent that, that you know has made his rounds so to speak. But yeah, Super Hentai being trained in Japan, you know we've had we have had influence here in RWA from just about every corner of the world at some form or fashion, depending on who's been here. So I mean you're going from you know SJK to Shane Taylor to Super Hentai. To, uh, you know, uh, I mean, you even look at some of the, the women that we have here. Uh, Jesse Bell's mothers, mm -hmm. you know, the, the daughter of uh, the most notorious southern bad boy himself, uh, uh, Tracy Smothers. God, that man could dance. Yes, he can. <laughs> yes, he can. Every time I see that Tracy's coming in, it's like, oh, it's going to be fun tonight. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, but, I mean, like I said, the, the talent here in RWA is truly tremendous. Um, you know, some are fan favorites, some are not. It is what it is, but at the end of the day, these folks do one hell of a job putting on a show of the thing that they do the best, 
and that is get out in the ring and wrestle. And this is a place, uh, I've always talked about, this is a place where I see a lot of people come out of their shell, too. Like, people that I've seen out a lot of other places. Guys like Shane Taylor. Yeah. Guys like Jason Gorey. Like, it's when they've stepped yeah. through, through the curtain here, it's like, it's a wholly different person than I've seen a lot of other places. Yeah. Uh, Shane Taylor, was, this is the first we saw the viciousness of, of Shane Taylor. Uh, when he was here, uh, Jason Gorey just like he had a whole different level of intensity when I first saw him popping up here. Yeah. It's been it's been really great to see these guys grow in this kind of space. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I, I think this you know these folks here, this crowd, um, this area, this environment gives everybody the ability to do a lot of different things as far as you know branching off and, and doing something a little different. Um, you know, from from like you said, the the vicious side of Shane Taylor. I mean. When he let that vicious side out, my God, like, I, I don't know, you know, who really could stop that man at that point. And, you know, you, like you said about um, Gory as well, Gory got very dark here and, and let out a very mischievous side, I guess you could say as well. Like, I, I don't know, the, I can't think of the exact wording for it, but like, you know, he, he, he de definitely brought in a different realm to himself here in RWA. Absolutely. Well, uh, your uh, broadcast partner is, uh, is is over here. I want to talk to him for a little bit. He sucks. I know. Uh, well, we got to give we got to give everybody a try here. So thank See, you much, Church. Everyone's everyone's cheering for Hank and not for Doc. Can hey, can we get a cheer for Doc? Doc, 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 Doc. They're booing you. <laughs> Boo, Doc. <laughs> You <laughs> got one. You got one out there. Church, where can people find you online? Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, MySpace. Not MySpace. Why do I keep saying MySpace? You it's really want the, that MySpace I want a MySpace account back. again. You're holding yeah. out for it. Be on the lookout. I'm creating a MySpace account now. Ring Rev Church, right? <laughs> yep. At Ring Rev Church on Twitter. Live Journal, Friendster. Yeah. Geocities. Geocities. Geocities.tripod.angelfire.com. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I, just go online, Ring Rift Church. You're going to be able to find me on, on all the, the popular social media platforms that are out there. So and many of the unpopular dark secret ones, too. Yeah, and maybe those, too. Who knows? Thank you so much, right. Church, for joining us. I'm going to pass this over to the, uh, the, the fatter one of us. Oh, I'm not comparing. Again, Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're doing our first ever live podcast here at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. How are you guys doing out there? You know, okay, we're their church. <laughs> Michael Doggerty, Doc, is with us. Nice tie. I don't know what it is. What is that? I want it to be purple, but it's not. What's no. happening here? Uh, it's for cancer awareness. <laughs> I think you're about a month off for that. That's oh, okay. Well, it's year round. It's year round, like Christmas, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, there goes the camera. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, the so camera's down. Welcome. The camera is down. Welcome to the podcast. Hank Hudson for the save. What's that? Hank Hudson with the save. Hank Hudson got it. That's fine. That's why it's got that case on it. That's fine. Everything's oh, wow. all right. It's all upside down and stuff. That's fine. We good now? That all works. Michael Doggerty, welcome to the show. You have been on Thank the show you. before. Yes, I have. We have you? an interview. For those who don't know, we have an Indie Mayhem show where we talk to we talk to several people here in the Renegade Wrestling Alliance, like you, like Church, like uh, we talked to G. Raver, Jason Gorey. Bert. Huh? Talk to Bert. Bert LeGrand. I was sad Bert LeGrand's not here, but, but Hank's here, so it makes it okay. Yeah, it's all yeah. right. It's fine. Hank, we got to get, Hank, we gotta get Hank, Hank on the show here So at some point. Um, I'm sure he's got some, some indie wrestling stories. Oh, I have many. I have many. I tell you what, tonight's going to be one hell of a night. Uh huh. I'm excited about it. A little scared, though. As you know, the Alliance can go after any title tonight that they plan. Let's so. say, we were talking about that a little bit with them um, and, and, and how they're people I'm very familiar with. Uh, and, and this is, uh, you know, free, I know you've seen some of them in the past here, but this is the first kind of seeing them unleashing here in R RWA. Yes, this is the first time I've seen them unleash an RWA, and I'll tell you what, they're scary. They scare me. I'll tell you what, they, we've had many, many factions take over, rule RWA. We've had, of course, the Feel Bad Five. We've had the Circle. We've had, I mean, my God. The Fold. The Fold. We've had them all. Bad Boys Club. Mm -hmm. But nobody has had a tremendous impact like the Alliance. I mean, they... They've been known. They're well established mm -hmm. throughout the indie circuit. So, 
pretty scary stuff. Um, I say we're uh, uh, gearing up here for open season uh, as the fans are, are lining up here. The greatest fans. Greatest fans in indie professional wrestling today. Like I said, the, the, I think like uh, the, the, the best ones here in the area. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good, good crew here in West Dune, and uh, you don't see that in a lot of other indie promotions. Uh, yeah, I've been to a few of them. So. What's crazy is this has been going on now for almost, I think, six, seven years now. Yeah, I think we settled on about seven years. Wheels gave me the high sign for that one. Yeah, and I tell you what, it just it gets stronger and stronger every year, mm -hmm. and that's what I love about this. Uh, what I love about this place, what I love about this. You've been here for, for a, a good bit of the duration here. We asked Church what was kind of the craziest thing that he's seen over the years. Uh, what, what's the craziest thing you've seen here? What is the highest moment for you maybe uh, with the RWA? There are so many, so many moments out there that I, I could recall. But um, one of our matches that I could actually recall was the I Quit match, which was Sterling James Keenan versus Ryan Mitchell. It was for the belt. And there was so much just anger so much build up for that matchup and just to watch Ryan win it with one second left was unreal this crowd was I explode I've never seen the crowd explode as loud as that one mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I was amazing I, I mean, gee, it, church is coming in church is, is, is hey, I forgot my coat here. up here I forgot my coat <laughs> what do you expect be careful it's cold out there I gotta go outside it's cold outside I got batteries in here he's I'm yelling gonna... at us off mic yeah he's yelling at us I don't care it's church. What do you expect? He yells at us Screw all you, hippie. Oh, here we go. <laughs> See? Always. All right, we're about 20 minutes until the official bell time here at RWA. I got to find Dr. Feelbad. We got to get him in here, too. Dr. He's Feelbad. out there paging Dr. Feelbad. He's out. He's out. He's shaking hands. Look at him over there. We can just Don't give him a live mic. He already talks too much. <laughs> he, wow. He individually has talked to everybody in here, that's for sure. So. Um, what are you looking forward to tonight? Of course, uh, you know. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Chris Taylor, if he has any answer for the uh, Minfo Mofo. I want to see Minfo Mofo get crushed tonight. No matter if it's Taylor or whoever, he needs to be stopped. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Taylor needs to go way back. Mm -hmm. So I want to see my friend finally avenge himself one way or another. I hope it happens to him. Certainly. Certainly somebody that's uh, kind of laid a path of destruction over the last year or so here in RWA. So. He has easily become the most hated man in West Newton, Pennsylvania. He's become easily become the most hated wrestler in RWA, surpassing Ryan Edmonds. I can actually say that. Really? Yeah, I'll say it right now. And, and Edmonds is one that, that, that had a lot of hate. Like, oh. like, Edmonds was a guy that would get in everybody's face here. Like, yeah, the security had to break up several instances. And that, that was the first time when I was like, you know. I see like four or five people that has actually literally got up out of their seat and tried to fight Ryan Edmonds. It's just been mass hysteria with that man. Mm -hmm. They're still coming. And, and Ryan, well, Ryan showed up last month. He did. But, and uh, uh, unfortunately came up short in defeating the Menfo Mofo. And, of course, being injured at the hands of the Menfo Mofo. So my prayers and thoughts go out to him. I hope he gets better. Because he took quite a shot against that, uh, that post out there. So certainly, certainly. Uh, so uh, what, what's got uh, uh, what's got you excited in pro wrestling these days? Uh, to, there's a lot going on. You know, the brand split was all right, and now I'm kind of wondering where they're gonna go with it. Are you picking a favorite between the brand split? Are you a Raw fan, a SmackDown fan with this stuff? You know what? I'm just watching them both. You know, it's like certain, where's this gonna go, right? Yeah, I have certain favorite wrestlers in both of them, so that's why I keep it. Hmm. This is my girl Charlotte, three-time women's champion. You're not a Sasha fan? You're not a Sasha fan? Hey, I'm a Sasha fan, but I'll, I'll always, you know what I mean? My, oh, oh, man. I got somebody. Who, the, got, who, the, who are Charlotte dares, fans out there? She, she, Give me a woo if you're a Charlotte fan. Oh, oh no. The boos. Oh, no. I'm telling you. It's all you. I know, right? I like one heel you're, and she gets booed. You're getting booed. more boos than Church by being a Charlotte fan right now. I know, now. right? Hey, it is what it is. Who, do we have any Sasha Banks fans out there? Uh, to be honest with you, that whole women's division is me. awesome. How about Church? How about Church should go for the women's title? Yeah. <laughs> church fighting for the women's title. There you go. Could you see? <laughs> That's cool. That's fine. Congratulations. Look, look out, Jesse Bell. Church is gunning for your title, apparently. Uh-oh, there you go. No, no. Shit 
kick my ass. So church yes. says that she Jesse, kicked Jesse ass. would whoop you there, Church. That wouldn't be a. Jesse would kick my ass. No. <laughs> we belong up here and only up here. Exactly. Me, okay? That's why we're as far away from the ring as possible. Exactly. I don't even go out there much anymore. Exactly. So, yeah. So. Oh, there we go. That'll work. We got Doc for Woman of the Year. Woman of the Year. There you go. Are the RWA year end? Right, right in Doc for Woman of the Year at the RWA year end award. Hey, so back in the day, he was saying Doc for President, <laughs> but we, we we can't have another president. We switched the church, switched the church for president. All right, thank church you. For church for President. Really, you're gonna go for it? Vote for Church in four years, folks. Hey, you got my vote. I'll vote for you. Wow. Whoa. All right. Too political there for you. Go. Church 2020, <laughs> he couldn't do any worse. That wow. is a platform if I've ever heard one. Jeez. <laughs> he got his, so now you got to get yours. This is exactly what I'm talking about with the fans here. This is amazing. Yeah, they're fun. They're the greatest fans in the world. I love, you know, they're the reason we're here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I'll see you later. <laughs> On that note, somebody find me Dr. Feelbad. we got to get him up right. here. Paging Dr. Feelbad. Paging Dr. Feelbad. <laughs> we put church on the front of the White House, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a Wrestling Mayhem show. We're doing a pre-show here. At wrestling. Uh, running at Wrestling Alliance. I think I just found my new co-host out there. Uh, so uh, uh, getting ready here. Hey, Chachi. Nope, Josh is not coming up. But uh, we're getting geared up here. RWA's open season. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. Feel bad. Feel bad. Feel bad. I don't know if you missed, but you, we already got Doc is up for Woman of the Year and Church is running for president. So a lot has happened so far in this pre-show. Running for, is this on? Are you on? I, on? I think you turned it off. There, you there go. it is. Can hey. everyone hear me? There he is. Yes. See, this is no much more efficient than uh, talking to each and every one of the fans. You can just talk to all of them at the same time. All of them at the same time. They're not all here yet. Go out and get more people. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you people? More people went in here the warmer it gets through the night, right? I don't That's want excuses that you're sick or what. Let's hear it! That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank we're talking you. to Doc, we're talking to the church about the seven years of, uh, of Renegade Wrestling Alliance. It's amazing. Well, uh, I hope everyone here listening knows how much I appreciate them and their support. Uh, familiar faces, new faces, to think on January 21st, we will hit the eight year mark in this building. Eight years of RWA. I owe it to all of you. And let me add, all the incredible talent in the dressing room area back here is just amazing. We've had everything from, hey, We've had everything from WWE talent, WWE legends, all the way to up and coming superstars in the local area and throughout the United States. And I hope, thank you. Thank you very much. And, and don't, who can forget, and hey everybody, Sanjay Dutt. Sanjay Dutt over there. And Sanjay, I wanna tell you personally, thank you for making this a new home for you, sir. I'm glad you feel welcomed here. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, so um, um, so how are you doing? Uh, I'm tired. It's been a while since we've had you on the show. It has been a while. A lot has happened since you've been on the show last. We've That's we, we have an interview with him from, man, well, it's probably about two years ago we talked to you. If you want to, we, we tried to get in this guy's head on the Indie Mayhem show uh, a little bit as a promoter and yes. what you guys are doing here. So, uh, I, what have you learned in two years since? I've learned in two years that uh, the older you get, the more exhausting it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, look, it's Brad Daddio right there. It's Brad, 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 Brad. <laughs> uh, you know, that's something I've learned. I'll tell you what I've learned. Uh, it was something I was going to say for the anniversary show, but I'd like to touch on it right now. I know most of these people by their first and last names, 
I'm watching their kids grow. I've been through everything from marriages to sadly funerals. And there's some of my friends like Donnie Baker right there that have been friends for over 20 years and support us long before RW existed. And I just, I'm, I'm absolutely thankful for the good people and the good fans here tonight that are in my life. I, I really feel like it's extended family. That's not some sales pitch or anything. That's exactly what it feels like for me. And I hope it feels the same for them. That's right, that's, that's exactly why at the beginning of the DVDs we have the, the fans chanting <laughs> RWA because that's like, that that's the hottest thing I think we have going on here is is that reaction, is the energy that happens Absolutely. here. No matter how hot it is or how cold it gets in this building, yes. it's always a lot of energy out there. Indeed. Uh, so is everybody warm enough tonight? So, yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Uh, so we got a big night coming up here. We got a lot of people. We have the Alliance. We have Sanjay Dunn, like you mentioned. Um, you right. know, what, what, what can we expect tonight? What we can expect tonight, and I'm just as surprised as anyone else. I like to sit back here, even though I run the company, obviously I'm still a fan myself. It's hard for me to take my eyes off it. Not in any ego, but absolute pride. I'm proud to have this for eight years. What we can expect tonight is expect the unexpected. And the one expectation that these fans can have is the same hard hitting action that we've had for eight years. And it's only gonna get better from here with all their support. Um, Thank you. And you can say, you've been uh, uh, watching that talent grow and watching that talent get, get better over the years. I would like to see that myself. I usually don't get personally involved. All right, if I may interrupt yeah, you. Go for it. Who wants to see Mofo get his ass handed to him tonight? Huh? <laughs> Me? I, I, I own the place. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Well, I, I can work on that someday. All right, if I take on Mofo, I want all of you to get right behind me and get in that ring with me. <laughs> they'll do all it All right, here. I know they'll do it. I know they will. I mean, these guys, are, we, we've done, like, you've had, like, the fan strap matches here. Yes. Fans bring the weapons are the most, that's the, I, you've had to turn weapons away sometimes. Okay, all right, hey, hold on, hold on. Everyone, may I have your attention? Sorg here brought up a good point. As we head toward the anniversary show, who would like to see a fans bring the weapons match? <laughs> Tables, ladders, and chairs? Steel cage? All right, all right, all right. One more, one more time. Shh, wait, wait, wait. Quiet, hold, steady. Weapons in the cage. Okay, hold on, hold on. Dylan Gibbs says, who wants to see weapons inside a steel cage? We'll call it the Dylan Gibbs Weapons Invitational. <laughs> What's that? This gentleman right here says, Chris Taylor versus Mofo in a steel cage weapons match. I don't know, that wasn't convincing. Ryan Edmonds too, okay, okay. Who wants Ryan Edmonds to return? You know, I'll admit I'm very much against that. I am, you know that. Uh, he's, he's bad news, but one more time, Ryan Edmonds. One more time, steel cage weapons match. What do you think? I like it, I like it. How, who just wants to see more violence? These are my people. <laughs> they're, they're calling for blood. Blood? I, I, I couldn't understand. He'll we've, only, we've only bled a couple of times on the podcast for him, so. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so 
Well, thank you very much. We're about we're a few minutes from bell time here. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Doc Church, Doctor Feelbad, for joining us once again on the show here. Right. Uh, again, this is Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out several interviews. Of, uh, several people have been here at Renegade Wrestling Alliance. We've been talking about you guys for years on the Indie Mayhem Show. Right. A lot of interviews, including this guy, Doctor Feelbad. Thank you, of guys. And you know, uh, sometimes uh, crew, videographers, sound are the unsung heroes of this. So I'd like to personally shake your hand and thank you, thank you. for everything you've done over the years for RWA and making this right here possible as well. And, and, Thanks, and, and I don't talk about this much, but before you go, yeah. uh, not just people in West Newton are watching this stuff. Like, not just you guys. There are people in Japan, in England, all over the world. I've sent RWA DVDs to, like, Australia. Right. Like, there are people, this is becoming a worldwide thing. Uh, people are seeing what's happening him here in this gymnasium, and it's appreciated all around the world because, because of the video stuff. And, and it's really cool to see that kind of reaction. I thought that dude was going to swing that chair. <laughs> <laughs> you never, you never know, know about here. our fans. You never know around here. So everybody, you're gonna, you're gonna watch Brad. You're gonna watch Brad. He's capable of anything. Ray Dog's another dangerous one. Where's Ray Dog? I don't see him. Where is he? He's hiding. There he is. Watch out for Kenna, Ray Dog, Brad. Dylan Gibbs, I know, bad news. I know bad a lot of those news. names from the Facebook group. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I watched <laughs> hey, that Hey, thanks for again, Sorry, yeah, I check out it. You can check out what we do here at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And, of course, RWA. And uh, a lot of those interviews are over at IndieWrestling.us as well. And, uh, and check us out at Mayhem Show on Twitter. I am at Sorgatron. Everybody enjoy the show. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.